My name is Christine Barsky, and I am a member of the Cedar Chess Quilters Guild in Cedar City, Utah. I learned to sew in high school when I lived in California. My grandmother Polly taught me how to cut and sew a pattern. She was a marvelous seamstress and made clothes for my mom, aunt, and I. Although I enjoyed sewing, I did not have the time to pursue the hobby for most of my adult life as I was busy with my career as a marine biologist for the state of California and also working with my husband in his business. In 2014, my husband and I retired to Cedar City, Utah. One of the first things I did once we settled in our new home was to buy a sewing machine and join the Cedar Chess Quilters Guild so I could learn to quilt, something that I'd always been interested in but never tried. One of my first quilting projects was participating in a class called Block of the Month that was put on by the Guild. The goal of the class was to create a Christmas quilt in time for the holidays. I worked on this quilt along with other Guild members throughout 2015. To be a good quilter, you have to be able to read and follow the directions for your project, measure accurately, make precise cuts of your fabric, and pay attention to the details as you assemble your quilt. I was very fortunate because the women and men in the guild are very helpful and encouraging to both new and experienced quilters. Whenever I ran into a problem or had a question while working on my quilt project, I was always able to get assistance and suggestions as to how to proceed and complete my quilt. Once a month, I attended the Block of the Month class to start that month's block. Then I'd finish the block up at home. I also joined a friendship circle in my neighborhood where we meet in a small group at someone's home to work on our projects and enjoy each other's company. We have a real sense of community here in Cedar City that you don't find everywhere. Our guild members regularly work on humanitarian projects. The guild makes quilts for the chemo center so cancer patients can stay warm while they're receiving their treatments. Our members also make quilts for the local crisis center, baby quilts for the local hospital to give to newborns whose families can use a hand, and holiday placemats for seniors who receive meals on wheels. Once I sewed all the blocks together for my Christmas quilt, I added three borders and my front layer was complete. Then I sandwiched the batting, the insulation layer, between the front layer and the backing fabric. I used a neighbor's long arm machine and with her guidance quilted the three layers together with stitching in a Christmas motif. Some of our guild members still do the quilting by hand. Next I sewed the binding to the front side of the quilt's edge and then hand stitched the other edge down. I'll take my completed quilt to the guild's monthly meeting and potluck luncheon to share my success with the other members of our community. I plan to quilt for many more years to create special gifts for family, friends, and those in need.